So applying for credits is um, quite a process. And again, this is something that AgriProve really handles on your behalf to ensure that we get these crediting applications in in a timely fashion. Um, the key information that we require at this point is really around that implementation of your activities. How much have you done? How much of the area have you implemented those activities on? Um, and also just information relating to the emissions on the property throughout the project period. So that's the, the period since your baseline through to that subsequent sampling round. So that might be your livestock numbers, your, your fertilizer quantities, things like that. What that enables us to do is quantify the emissions associated with the project for um, the project period relative to your baseline period. And essentially the number we're trying to arrive at is what we call net abatement. So that's essentially your soil organic carbon sequestration. So the carbon that you have sequestered in your soil minus the emissions for the project period. But it's important to note that those emissions are only relative to your baseline period. So if nothing has changed dramatically relative to your baseline period for that crediting period, the deductions because of your emissions are generally minimal or, or non-existent at all. It's only if um, you've dramatically increased your fertilizer usage, for example, that your emissions may actually go up and there may be deductions against your sequestration. Um, it's important here to flag too that we at AgriProve manage a lot of complexity in this process on your behalf. So calculating that net abatement number, um, basically there are 85 individual calculations in the methodology that, that we need to go through to arrive at that final net abatement number. And when we're preparing the offsets reports for both auditors and for the clean energy regulator, there's over 100 individual documents um, and files that we have to supply with that offsets report. And that's all the administration that AgriProof handles at this point in time on your behalf to, to ensure that these projects pass through that crediting process. Um, the other thing to flag here that all projects at their first credit issuance do have to go through a third party independent reasonable assurance audit. So that's independent auditors coming and checking all our documentation, ensuring that we've done everything correctly and they'll come and visit you on farm with an agri representative just to talk around your implementation on the project and just to check that our um, mapping processes have been correct as well. Um, as I say, that audit happens at the first credit issuance on every project it then occurs another two times throughout the 25 year um, period, just to ensure that you know there is integrity behind um, that net abatement that we are claiming on these projects. Um, so then all going well, we go through all of that process, we submit accrediting application with the clean energy regulator, they do their assessment um, and once their assessment is complete, they issue ACCUs to, um, to the project. Um, as I called out at the front end, um, all of our administration and project management, monitoring, reporting and verification, verification is handled under our success fee. Basically 75% of those ACCUs generated go to you. We take 25% to cover our costs associated with, with running these projects. Um, of that 75% of ACCUs that go to the landholder, there's basically optionality in, in how you deal with those credits once they're issued. So three main options there. You can either elect to lock in a long-term fixed price with AgriProve, so that guarantees the price that you will get paid for those ACCUs going forward. Um, you can either sell them on the spot market at um, the price that um, is available on the spot market at that point in time and AgriProof can handle the brokerage to, to assist in that process or you can elect to hold them either for future sale or if you want to hold them for or retire them for carbon neutrality purposes, things like that, that's an option as well. We can also transfer your 75% share into an existing registry account if that is available to you and something that you want to do if you want to have control over your ACUs once generated. So again, really trying to bake flexibility into to how, um, how we operate with this to, to give Give, um, give all of our clients basically the maximum benefit and that flexibility in, in handling the, the credits um, once they are generated. So really that's probably where I'll stop now. That's a really quick run through of how that process works um, and, and some of the detail behind what my team um, handles on a daily basis to ensure these projects are successful right through from that registration phase through to crediting. 